what's going on everybody lambo here i got a lot of people asking about doing a tutorial on blender and there's so many tutorials on there so maybe we'll just do a quick rundown on how to make an object in blender specifically for farming simulator 19 or 17 preferably 19 because i'm going to show you the material selector how easy it is to build something pretty easy so uh <coughs> what we need to do is let's open recent here uh, i have a bunch of different crap pots that i've made right so there's a crab pot um another crab pot this one's also it's a bigger crab pot with some buoys that i made pretty easy to make these buoys honestly and then after you apply a normal map to them they look legit so uh the idea now seeing this is like a geodesic dome i made for salt just really simple complex this is one of those underwater geodesic domes for fish so this mesh actually has a has the wire all the way around it and then has a cage on the outside and this goes underwater for the underwater geodesic hatcheries i guess you would call them so that's sweet right okay so let's unselect everything get to a new new menu right here okay <coughs> first off a little explaining here i am the controls are different than giants editor right now i'm holding my center mouse button and i'm panning like this all over the place right now if i left click it'll reset my 3d cursor your 3d cursor is like a point of origin so like we can hold i think it's control s and then that will tell you like cursor to selected or cursor to center for right now i want cursor on the center and then I'm going to hit shift A. That's going to allow me to insert an object. So let's go a cube, right? And then get out of that screen there. So here's a quick rundown. If you have your textures, this is if you assign a texture inside of the UV editor. And then you have your solid. And then if you hit Z, It'll go in between wireframe and solid if you can't see something. Now, with our object selected, we'll hit tab, right? And there's different faces here. There's things in here called faces, edges. And if you notice right here where I'm clicking, uh, this is an edge. That's just one line. And then you have vertices. So that's like the corner. So if I select two, I now have both of those vertices and that edge. So if I select here, see, I have that edge. I select that edge and I go to vertices, you'll notice I have those. If I select face and then I go back to vertices, you'll see I have all four of those vertices selected. Just makes it easier to get around. So since we're here, let's uh, set my origin to about like that and let's make it wider. We want to be able to haul some stuff with these. So, okay, now that we got that. Make it a little wider. I want a big cage for the. Okay, now from here, what we can do is we're going to split it in half and use the mirror modifier so we do less work. Uh, how this is going to work, we'll hit Control R and it's going to give this like purpley line right here, right? And then you can use your mouse wheel to scroll up and make bigger sections of it or smaller. For right now, we just want half of it. And after you select it, it'll let you slide it back and forth. I just hit right click, put it right in the center of it. And then I'm going to hit Z to go to wireframe mode. And then I'm already on edge select. So I'm unselect everything. Hit C to make like this circle select thingy. And then we're going to go X for delete. And we're going to go edges. Okay. Now we just, now we're left with this cube half a cube right it's missing a face right there which is okay this is what we're going to do we're going to go mirror now what it's doing is anything that happens here so let's select the face anything that happens here is going to be the same on the other side <clears throat> so what we're going to do from here is we're going to inset i'm going to inset and then let's try point two no not point two and maybe one so point one inset i 
and then maybe extrude down negative 0.15. Okay, so inset one. Oh no, no. 0.1. Okay. And we're going to extrude negative 0.15. Okay, same thing in here. We're going to hit I for inset. We're going to put 0.1 and we're going to extrude negative 0.15. Okay, we got one more side to do it too. Actually, two more here. And we might do the bottom a little different just to give it some love. Okay, so we'll hit inset. 0.1 extrude we're going to do negative 0.15 and I like blender because it gives you the ability to do it manually like this or you can do it using numbers like what I'm doing I'm just selecting um, hitting E extrude and then hitting in my numbers here So if we wanted to make this kind of nifty, right, and added some kind of paletting effect, we can go separate from selection. Now this thing is on its own. We'll hit Control R, and we're going to throw in some faces here. And we'll hit Control Tab to select faces. Okay, so now from here, we're going to select every other one and then extrude it down. Bingo, something like that. So now this is a palleted object, you know what I mean? Okay. Now to make this even more unique, we're gonna select all these faces that we created, right? We're just gonna separate them for the time being right now. So now we have this frame, kind of this framey dingy going on here. So we'll unwrap this. Actually, we'll smart unwrap it. And then it's going to bring up this bad boy here. Don't exactly want it, want it on that. So from here, um, I have the material selector plugin installed specifically for Farming Simulator. I recommend getting this. I don't have a link. I can't remember where I got it from. Just do a Google search on YouTube for UDMI, and you'll find the video that I watched to learn how to do this. Uh, it's by like BDSDD something. I can't remember whoever you are, but thank you for that video. It really clarified some things on some UDMI. Gosh, I really got to remember your number. I'm not on the internet. Um, but he's like the only guy that made a 30 minute long video on this. Props to you. Um, so from here, we'll, I kind of want this cage to be silver and scratched. So it's seen some work, right? <clears throat> So now I got these guys. So I like doing these individually. So select the face and then just hit unwrap. Unwrap. And I'm just hitting smart unwrap. And what this is doing, and if you see up here in the top right corner, it's just making the whole screen. That way, when we go to assign a, that way when we go to assign a liquid-looking color, um, we'll be able to have a cage as well behind it. Trust me, you'll see it's going to look pretty epic here momentarily. Okay, so. One thing I also like to do is since we have this open, we are going to apply the solidify. And what this is going to do, it's going to turn the inside of the mesh into, it's going to have a face. So that being said, now it won't look so funky donkey. So here, we're going to apply the solidifier mod as well on that one. And we're going to apply it on here as well. Okay, now before I pretty much throw this to the wolves here, unwrap smart, we're going to put this bottom as wood. Should be interesting, right? Actually, scratch that. I don't want the bottom wood. 
I want that part to be plastic. And then we'll hit Control I to select the opposite. And then that can be wood. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to take this. Uh, it's duplicated, right? So we're going to create a mesh for this guy. And we're going to call this guy net. Uh, change the defuse cutter to whatever, just something to where it's not the stock one. That way, when it loads it up in the game, in the materials, it doesn't just take over all the slots. Because if they're the same cutter, the game will register as the same material, and then you won't, you'll lose control of specializations. Like whatever you do to this part of the me this mesh will affect that one. But if you assign different categories like this, so now we're going to open up VS. So this is vehicle shader. Right. So that's all fall underneath my vehicle shader. Okay, now we're going to change this one now. We're going to create a new one here called water. And I'm going to change it to some funky color. Okay, so now we have that made inside Blender here. We should be able to very easily make it apparent. I just hit Control P right there. So I'm assigning the, the boxes to it so it's apparent. Oh, when I, oh not that. When I go to select it here, it all moves as one, and then when I load it in the game, it's all in one. So let's hit save really fast, and let's attempt to uh, export this. It is going to my desktop. Okay, I'm cool with that. Export selected. Okay. Let's open up my desktop and see what this looks like, and I'll show you kind of the basis of how I did this here. On um, that's loading note, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying this, and if you specifically asked for a Blender tutorial, here you go. So this one's a net. We'll just name this one to net, and then we'll name this one to water. Okay, now to give it kind of the look we're going for, I'm going to assign this window specular because it's going to be glass with a steel cage behind it. So we kind of try to recreate that here. So that should do it. And you can go through, and I like using all these stock ones, but I'm gonna, I'm just inside the farming simulator data and shared, and I'm applying this wire specular, right? And I need to apply the normal map now. I'm interested in that, okay. So now I'm looking pretty good. Okay, so the rest of this guy, so in order for the UDM, UDMI to work, we're gonna have to have, um, we're gonna have to have a shader attached to it. So I happen to have a Gen Wear Dirt right here. It's a stock shader. And then our stock, it's a stock gloss map. My apologies, not shader. So let's go and 
open up the vehicle shader now. It's just the stock one. We'll hit that, and it's you're seeing we're starting to get a little color here, all right? So we'll hit color mask, and now that's all should be silver. You can't tell because it's super dirty, but if you look inside here, look at look full on cage, right? That's because of the solidifier modifier. Modifier. So let's get rid of some of this dirt. So now we're inside of this and you can actually add the dirt back in, right? And if you go look right here, which is dirt color. So this is a crab pot or a crab storage container. I'd imagine it'd have algae on it. So I could change my colors here and then I can also decrease the amount that shows up on it. So if I wanted to do something similar to that, it would be really plausible. And now we need to make this where you can actually see through it, because right now it's not very uh, see-through at all. So we should actually go in here. We're going to go resize, making a new image. Go and resize. We're going to go 256. 256. Sounds good. Okay, we're going to delete it the background and then I'm going to take my little color painter here and I'm going to go select blue I'm going to dye it and then next we're going to make it real transparent something kind of like that and then let's go um, let's go save this in here Gonna save it as a DDS DTX5 is what I like to save it as. Press OK. Okay, now we're gonna come into here and we're gonna assign that same one. Uh, where did I save that into? Maps, Lambo, Blue, Translucent. Oh, look at that. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it looks like I just need to bring it in just a hair. Make it just a hair smaller. And now You see, that's what makes it kind of watery proof. And it looks like I'm going to do the same thing to the top. Bring it down just a hair. So now the whole thing looks like it's legit. What's the bottom look like? Bottom looks okay. A little stretched right there, I'd say. But I mean, that is the bottom of the crate. <laughs> So we pulled the grid out. Nice, right? Uh, the idea behind this is I was gonna put some fishies in here, right? And make them swim. Maybe. I mean, or just put a fill plane in there and put a bunch of fish. I mean, we, we could do an assortment of things, but as of right now, this is looking pretty Pretty simplistic and I like it. Um, might make some type of mounting brack up on top or something. That probably, probably go into here. Easiest way I've found to do that is I'll select the face, I'll hit Control S, no, not that. I'll hit Shift S and then we're going to go cursor to selected, then deselect that, and then import in a uh let's just go taurus put it right in the center there
Okay, from the Taurus. I don't like having a whole lot of extra crap, so we'll X the face out of that. Kind of dirty. Unwrap that bad boy. And then we'll make that brass. Maybe like a little attacher or something along those lines. Okay, now, in order to make this even more legit, we probably should make some type of water container, I imagine. So maybe like, let's go to the other side here. Well, cursor to selected, unselect that. We'll insert in a cylinder. It's way too many vertices. Maybe like 16. Zoom it down quite a bit, make it a lot smaller. Maybe like right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in a very, I'm gonna make, make this like a tank or something like that, just like for water aeration. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'll individually unwrap a lot of this. Just, uh, I like individually unwrapping the faces because it adds better detail to the overall end model. I mean, a lot better detail. All right, so back in the game here. So I have this all set now. I wanna make this uh, red though. It'll be like a reflector red, so it'll be kind of nifty. So we'll throw that in there. That's off on red now. Now these top ones, I'll just unwrap those individually as well. Smart unwrapping them. And then I want them to be Let's go white. And then we'll select our last face here. I'll unwrap that as well. And we're going to make that. Um, hmm. Let's go brass. Okay. So that guy is all UDMI mapped, right? I'll show you what this turns out here in a second. So, from here, right, gonna drop her down a little bit, start to twist her, so we can get it kind of an angle going here. Keeping our same pipe. I'm sure there's a way better way to do this, but it's the way we're doing it currently right now. So we still got this. When you ever do extrude like this, you gotta unwrap that part of it and then assign it. So we have that brass. And then we're gonna duplicate that, send it over to the side.
Make sure we're somewhat even with the other side. A little bit of a gap. It's perfect. A little funky, but you won't be able to see here in the inside. It's kind of making, I don't know what I'm making, but we're making it. It's using the inset tool to give it some texture here. Um, sure. Some copper place to stimulate it a little bit. Okay. This is just a tutorial on showing you how to kind of get something going. So now that that's all assigned here, we'll give it VS name tag and then we'll just make it a part of this bad boy. And now it's like that on both sides. Except we don't like this here. There we go, something different. Okay. That shows you kind of the basics of that bad boy. Oh, we gotta assign this. Make it apparent. Okay. Let's just restart everything all over again. desktop, import it in. So we're going to take all of it's going bye bye. Okay, so Q, B, S, go through and walk through how to do this one more time. We're just going to assign. Normally you would assign the basic ones, but I have this one, so it adds a little coolness to it. We'll give it a bump map this time, since it's probably going to be the last time we play with it. Give it a little bit of texture. Okay, now we'll assign the shader. Go and assign the vehicle shader. Be an expert after this, man. And then we need to do a color mask to add the color to it. We're going to change the color to a green. Drop down. There we go. So now it's all silver all the way around. Okay. This one, name this net. Name this one water. Shrink the water. Uh, we're not going to mess with that until we can actually see it. So now we'll assign the net here. That's just the cage material inside shared. All the way down. Wee! Okay. Now I got put the gloss mop on there too. Apply the normal. And I don't like putting the vehicle shader on on that cage part. Um, but see, this is what it's gonna look like on the inside, right? Pretty cool, right? 
something different. I don't have a clue, but it'll work for right now for transporting. Okay, so let's go to uh, the fish transport. Water, so let's assign some water now. So our Beto map that we were using is inside of here. Maps. And it's this blue trans. If you were with me earlier when we did this, and we'll go like that. And then I'm shrinking the sides just to kind of match up a little bit. And then we're going to apply the window specular because it's got that cool, this light green you see right here. It actually looks like glass. Okay. And then from here, we'll go through and apply a shader to it. Vehicle shader. And that's going to give it that blue effect to it whenever we look in there. And then there's a way to assign this in XML. That way it uh, it only shows water when it's there. So if it doesn't have water, it'll actually just look like this. Not a bad looking little cage though, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty tore up right now. But it will look like... Uh, it looks something like this when it's all done. Our tubing in. And then we could take off the dirt mask and you can see what it looks like all pretty. Yeah. There we go. Uncle Uncle Dory, huh? Okay, next we need to get, so we got this Taurus on top. Uh, this guy's got it, it needs a whole set of funness. Apply a shader for this. And that's whatever, right? So, not bad. There's a little transport container, and then when there's water in it, it'll fill up. It'll look something like that. And then, depending on what you load with it, if you put crab in there, there'll be crabs swimming around, and you'll be able to see them. And I, I'll put the, uh, there's a rotate shader, so it'll actually, like, move around, and maybe I'll do a couple other things with it. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but... At least I can fill this up now. Or maybe just put a fill plane inside of it and call that simple. You know, it'll be either be filled with anchovies or crab. But then this big bad boy can be loaded onto a cargo ship. That way you're not taking over small loads. We can actually take over some size now. This is a pretty big container. Feel like it would do the trick. You know what I mean, Jellybean? If you're enjoying Lambo Mod's awesome content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and visit our Patreon page. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.